Go for it, Mom. So I'd like to hear the story about the first time that Grandpa kissed you, Grandma. Can you tell me? <laughs> tell me a story. Tell me a story. Tell me a story. I'm not going back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Grandma. Okay, well, actually... This isn't about the first time he kissed me, oh, okay. but I wanted him to. Oh, he would not, and not only would he he wouldn't kiss me, he didn't <coughs> even <coughs> hold my hand. And you wouldn't believe what a romantic guy he was once we got married. But, <laughs> <laughs> but before it was a sin, <laughs> and quit this <coughs> isn't even it. Go for but it. But I'll just tell you something that happened because see. I always, we had three boys in our church, two of them were all ready, not looking my way, and so when Dad, uh, this man, Clammy, mm -hmm. came to church, oh, my heart beat so fast. He was so cute. He was really good looking. So, I, he came back that night, Sunday night, and he he went forward when they gave the invitation. Well, he brought a girl with him. Mm -hmm. Grandma thought, I'll make short work of her. <laughs> <laughs> well, she went to the altar too, but when, uh, when she got up right away and came back and sat down. And then uh, when he got up from the altar, he went to the girl and he just smiled so big. Did anything happen, he said, did you? And she just put her head down. And he just kept smiling and kept smiling. Well, the next Sunday he came again. That was the second Sunday. So when he came in the door, I was close by and I said, Hi, where's your girlfriend? And She hasn't changed a bit, has she? She hasn't settled at all. And uh, <laughs> he said, Girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. I said, Well, you brought a girl last week. He said, Oh, She's not my girlfriend. I picked her up in the park. <laughs> and uh, so I, you know, I, I went on to the next person because, you know, you're always supposed to speak to everybody in the church. Mm -hmm. right. And when I miss somebody, I have to think, okay, now when can I get to them because I don't want to leave anybody That's a lot out. of pressure, Grandma. My okay, <laughs> so... I'm really failing. <laughs> we, we, you know, I, I really... Worked on this, but you know you have to be a little subtle. And mm. uh, but he, uh, I, we invited him for dinner because we had a big family, and we would invite kids over, and he would always come with other guys. And then um, they had on the Thanksgiving. It was probably maybe the first Thanksgiving. Uh, I mean the the last Thanksgiving before we got married the next June. But he still had, I could not reach him. And uh, he was going to, they had a bus going to another town on Thanksgiving. All the young people were going to have Thanksgiving dinner there. Mm -hmm. It was a CA rally. That's Christ Ambassadors. Uh -huh. You're a Christ Ambassador. All right. And mm -hmm. um, I couldn't go because I worked at a grocery store that was open on Thanksgiving. Good grief. So when I, the bus came out, worked, came home, and then when uh, the bus came in and that, uh, John got home about um, oh, you know, probably 11 or 12 because they had to drive back after church that night, and I said, did he sit by anybody? Did he have a girlfriend? Mm -hmm. And he said, yeah. And um, my heart sank. And mm -hmm. I said, well, at lunchtime, did he eat with her? Yeah. Did he sit very close? <laughs> he said, poor Grandma. <laughs> poor John. <laughs> he said, I don't know. <laughs> and I said, did he act very interested in her? He said, I don't think so. <laughs> I said, okay, I am going to get him. There you go. And he, I am going after him until he kisses me. There you go. Mm -hmm. And then, then he has to marry her. <laughs> well, I thought, <laughs> then we'll see what happens. So from then on, 
we invited him over on Sunday. He um, had a standard invitation. <laughs> well, it wasn't just him. Other guys would come too. And, um, you know, I tried. <laughs> but he, he was not... <laughs> He wouldn't. He wouldn't. You know, I try. <laughs> he wouldn't. He just never put his arm around me. Darn it! And, then, and didn't you even sometimes? Wouldn't you even say, "Why well, won't you kiss me?" Yeah, he said, "Well, we can't." <laughs> so it, it was just like that, and that was Thanksgiving, and came Christmas. And Grandma had invested he? in mistletoe. She was ready. <laughs> and he, is that when you gave me the purse? He had a charge account at a at a store downtown at, on the square at Springfield, mm -hmm. and he he bought a beautiful leather purse. Oh, charged it. I don't remember when I gave that to you. And uh, <laughs> you know what I think? I think he didn't. I don't think he gave me anything that Christmas. But on Valentine's Day, mm. he knocked on the door, and I went to the door, and there he was, and he had packages. And one of them, I opened it, and it was a purse. I remember now. You, you still have that purse. I have it. I can show it to you. Mm -hmm. It's leather, and if yes. you want to see what happens to leather it after lasted 70 the years. the test of time. <laughs> and um, he gave me the purse, and then he gave me a box of chocolates. Oh. And then oh. he gave me a present, and I opened it up, and it was a picture of the handsomest man in the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Grandpa, I just want to say that you have, you have such style. That you, Valentine's Day, June. I'd like to give you a gift. Here's me. <laughs> But it was. I you, have so have much you respect. Seen that I love it. It, it is. is a great, yes, it, it is. is a great it is a beautiful it picture. Is, it is quite. It was, in, it was yeah. in the window at mm -hmm. that photography shop downtown for a long yeah, time. I don't yeah. doubt it. Mm -hmm. It was right there, and I thought mm -hmm. maybe I'll kiss so me. How did say? So how did you get him to kiss you? He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he gave it to me. I wonder he might have shook my hand. <laughs> But he, he didn't stay long. He just gave me the presents, and I don't know. So the very first time that he kissed you was? Well, the very first time that he kissed me, is we had, but this this didn't count. But he called me. Lord. We, we were playing. Uh, we were at a, a CA party. CA is Christ and Oh, Masters. you are did, Christ did, and did you play spin? <laughs> <laughs> you play spin the bottle or something? No. Oh. <laughs> In the bottle, it was Winkum. 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 Oh my goodness! There just, you go. Know. And he bad. didn't get so. <laughs> it, it, you know, he didn't hit me hard enough, fast enough, and so he kissed me. But it really. <laughs> Grandma says, but that didn't count. I was gonna get him. I, I knew. But <laughs> well, that wasn't what got me. It, it oh, was just, but he winked at you. No, uh, he he was behind me, but he mm. didn't tag me fast enough, so he had to kiss me. But it was just a, and um, guess what he did when he got home? What did he do? He called and apologized. Poor Grandpa, I'm blessed. I'm mad she's telling the truth. <laughs> he, I'm telling the truth. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> but, um... Then and I said, the, "Oh, it was okay." <laughs> get to the one that Billy counted. So then you you guys no, were it wasn't ministering. The one that oh, the one that counted. You guys were ministering. Yeah. Um, well, well, every Monday night. Well, we got to be friends, mm -hmm. but not this kind of friends. Right. He didn't hold my hand. Right. No. <laughs> um, but we had another couple. They were just winking. And Velma, Velma, <laughs> and Gwen, and uh, he had a car. He didn't have a car. He didn't know how to drive either. And um, we would go to people's homes. Now, this we didn't go to nursing homes. We went to people's homes, and they would be, um, oh, and bad, you know. They were like old people. They were real old, and they were 
course, we're not old. About 89. But, Go ahead. <laughs> but they would be in bed, you know, somebody would be taking care of them. Well, we would uh, read the Bible and sing songs and, you know, just have a really good time for about 15 or 20 minutes, and then we'd go on to the next room where we'd go to several homes. Well, that night, every home we went to, they had company, or the person was asleep or something, and so there was nobody to minister to. And Glenn said, well, why don't we go to the airport and watch the planes come in? So we watched, we wow. went to the airport, <laughs> and we watched the planes Justin come in. Justin and I have found a new favorite pastime for us. Let's do it. Uh, go well, watch then, the planes come I don't in. know if you can do that now, but we could just go right up, you know, and park close to the fence where mm -hmm. the planes were on the other side, um, and I think they're a little bit more serious now. All right. But, um... They put his arm around me, and that was very, my heart was really beating fast, and, uh, and you know, he's sort of, not really squeezing, but just sort of holding me, and then he kissed me, and if you want to know, this is a secret, oh. he is the best kisser in the whole wide world. All right, there you go, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> we may have just crossed the line here. <laughs> and that was we the story. The, if you think we crossed and, the line, and I just want to say, I just want to say, I think it's adorable that mm -hmm. the thing that got Grandpa to put his arm around Grandma was, was the watching the airplanes come in. <laughs> yeah, and and uh, Glenn in the front seat, he was a little bit older than us. He said, "Well, I guess we better go home." So the, we left and we went to my no house hanky to panky. take me home first. And um, <laughs> I think he kissed me once more in the car. And uh, Glenn says, well, I think, CW, let's just get out of the car. And so they walked off somewhere. I don't know whether he was giving him some advice or what. But finally he came back and he took me to the door. Uh, that was just a peck. Mm. And so, she said, Glenn, you messed it up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? We found his number and called him and his wife. They got married. But they were in our wedding. He was. Uh, best man. Yeah, he was Good. best man. And his wife was one of the girls. And uh, I found that number and I said, Is this really is this the Bernard residence? Yeah. And I told him who we were and we were just talking to him. And then Glenn said, we were in our 80s. This has just been two or three years ago. And uh, he said, you know, June, I went out to that grocery store where you work, and I drove around and around, and I was thinking maybe I'd see you. But I didn't. <laughs> I thought, oh, my, my, that's pretty much, I think that was a compliment. <laughs> yes, there you go. <laughs> but anyway, that was a story. Did you do Disney. that oh, recently so or 70 years ago? Yeah, so anyway, the F. The next time I saw him, we always I always saw him at church time because he mm -hmm. always was at church. Mm -hmm. And um, I said, when are we going to get married? And he said, I don't know. <laughs> and actually, he supported his family. Grandma and, uh, said, you need to figure it out, sir. And so we started. You kissed thinking, me. You have time, to marry me. Yeah. And the next time that we went to church, we asked the pastor, uh, when can we get married? And he said, well, now this summer, this was April 20th, and he, he said, that I think that made That's Jerry Dad's sick. Birthday. I hope he doesn't vomit out there. Um, <laughs> but he said, um, I'm leaving for Canada for the summer. I'm going to be preaching in uh, services up there. And he said, I leave here on the June the 24th. And I said, can we get married June the 23rd? There you go. And Dad just, <laughs> I'm not sure, did you say, yeah, or did you say, I don't know. I'll be, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> but that was the end of that story. We That's... got married June the 23rd. Oh, and, he years. And, and he hugged me one time, Dad, and, and he called me up and said, I hugged you too tight. We <laughs> won't do that anymore. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh. And he didn't until after we got married. <laughs>